From the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your morning update. Well, usually after a big storm system that passes through heavy snow in the mountains, heavy rain elsewhere in the, in the lower elevations, I like to see how we're doing so far for the season. And we have certainly seen some improvement in many areas. In fact, everyone has seen improvement. The thing is, we're still below normal for the season in many locations, such as Redding at the airport, 12.58. The normal is 14.52. And look where we were last year. At this point, we're certainly doing a lot better at that point. But you know what? 87% is not bad. We have to remember, we've still got the rest of this month, February, March, April, and even if you want to include May in there as well. But there you can see, looking at Eureka, we have climbed above 100% there at 106%, not too far from where we were at this point last year. Mount Shasta City, of course, it was in the form of snow, right? But we take a look at what we're looking at, the rainfall and the water equivalency, 12.15, that's below normal, but still 80% is not that bad. And looking at El Turris, 82, excuse me, 92%, also doing much better than we were uh, just a few weeks ago. But last season, we were at 139%. Now, if you want to see more seasonal totals, be sure to watch Coffee with Kruger this morning at 6.30. I'll have some more totals in there for you, but just kind of wanted to give you a basic idea of how we're doing. It looks like we are seeing some improvement. It's going to be drier and slightly warmer for your Martin Luther King Jr. Day today. Hopefully you, have, hopefully you have the day off today. I was hoping to maybe have the day off, but the weather doesn't stop, does it? Chances for more rain this week, but you know what? Snow levels are going to be higher with these storm systems coming in this week significantly higher actually we'll get into that here in a second but there you can see for the valley I, we're going to see some patchy fog i think especially along uh, bodies of water in particular the sacramento river but we could still see some fog this morning also towards siski moda kind of there's some fog yesterday morning we can see that again here this morning and then eastern mountains looking at those temperatures only reaching somewhere in the low 40s taking a look at the north coast i think we'll see some fog along the coast Inland areas, some of those inland valleys, and not to mention even those mountain valleys could see some fog this morning. And quite honestly, there are some areas, I think, in the mountain valleys that could get sucked in with that fog for a good portion of the day. So here's what we got going on with the big picture. What we have are some clouds coming in from the south. That may have an impact on our cloud cover here for today. So many areas still not necessarily seeing a ton of clearing. This is the storm system I've got my eyes on. Now, it's not actually this area of low pressure, but some energy is going to break off from it. But what I want you to take note is where this area of low pressure is and where this storm system is coming from. It's what we call mid-latitudes. Right? So typically, you have storms coming up from the north. That's cold air. And if it comes down and rides down, of course, and from the Gulf of Alaska, it's cold air. You see low snow levels and you see colder temperatures. This here is a mid-latitude, so it's a warmer storm system and it's tapping in to subtropical moisture. So as all of this energy moves in our direction, it's warmer in nature. And as a result, you know, we see the rain, but we also see high snow levels as a result. So let's take a look at future cast and you can kind of see what's going on today. Yeah, we're going to see uh, mainly sunny skies here. A lot of those clouds I was talking about, they're going to be mainly down to our south, but some of those could kind of filter up in the form of some high clouds throughout the afternoon today. Take you into your Tuesday. Now in the morning, showers light to start off for the coast. Then it pushes eastward. This is not going to be a widespread heavy rainfall event, but I think some of us are going to see some decent rainfall. So showers coming in by the late morning and midday hours for your Tuesday for the valley and then eventually kind of pushing eastward. Notice we're seeing some blue on the map here, but that's going to be mainly above four or 5,000 feet. There could be a point in time where we could be looking at maybe a bit of a mix out towards Mount Shasta City, but that might be pushing it. Maybe a bit of a mix out towards El Turris as well. But overall, higher snow levels with this system. And of course, you're seeing some of that rain kind of kicking in still through Tuesday night. By Wednesday morning, it's gone. In fact, you can see, it looks like this is a bit of fog. Could see some fog for the Sacramento Valley and not to mention many of the inland and mountain valleys as well. So looking at the estimates with this storm system, 
there you can see, again, not as impressive as the last storm, but we'll take it. We'll take whatever we can get still. Uh, there you can see upwards of about a half of an inch, give or take, for the valley. And I ex expect to maybe see just slightly more out along the coast. Forecast snow totals. Okay, you're seeing it. The snow is showing up on the map, but we're not seeing any estimations for these lower communities. Mount Shasta, Alturas, Chester, right? Because it's going to be mainly in the form of maybe rain in a rain snow mix. And even if we do see anything, it's going to be very light accumulation because once again, when you have support for those higher snow levels, it's hard for us to see that accumulation in some of the lowest levels of those snow levels, right? So just something to kind of bear in mind. So we look at future cast long range. And again, you see where the storms are coming from? They're coming in from the mid latitudes. They're tapping in the subtropical moisture that comes up to our region. We get the rain, that's great, we'll take it, but it just doesn't bring much in the way of snow for those lower elevations. Now, of course, the Sierra is gonna get some snow and you know, above five, six, 7,000 feet, but for us here in Northern California, again, you're gonna have to go mainly above 5,000 feet with these storm systems before you start seeing any significant snow. And just kind of give you an idea, this is all that subtropical moisture. You see how these storms are just kind of pushing eastward. They're tapping into that subtropical moisture one after another as we do go into this weekend. And of course, we take you into early next week as well. Of course, that gets pushed down to the south. But you get the idea. These are warmer storm systems coming in. But the good news is, yes, we've got chances of senior precipitation. The darker shade of blue indicates that we have a good chance. Excuse me, green, not blue. Am I colorblind? No. That's blue. What I'm wearing is blue. This is green. But if we see the darker shades of green, what that indicates is that there's a very good chance that we could be looking at above normal rainfall. So yeah, some good rainfall heading our way in the long range, but look at this. The entire Western United States is under this warmer air mass, and that's going to help to keep those snow levels higher for us. Here's your wave heights for today. Well, not that bad. Maybe you had to head out on that small vessel should be okay for it. But look at this with approaching storm system on Tuesday. Yeah, they, the, the, the wave heights will get higher, but obviously not significantly higher. So it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Looking at your marine forecast, east winds at about five knots, waves from the west at seven feet at 12 seconds, from the west at three feet at 18 seconds. There's your high and low tide, your sunrise and sunset. Now, no alerts for today. But later on this evening into tonight, there will be a small craft advisor, again, because those wave heights are getting a little bit higher. Here's your Tr Trinity County neighborhood forecast. And you can see uh, just kind of a lot of wording here. But the main thing you really want to point out here is 5,000 feet, 6,000 feet and higher for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But the chances for, um, of course, that patchy fog this morning, some of you... I think here in Trinity County could be socked in with fog for a good portion of the day today. We get that low, L, the uh, lower angle of the sun. It's harder for sometimes the sun to kind of get into some of those valleys. And as a result, you can't really get that fog to evaporate. As you can see about 53 degrees for Weaverville today, 56 degrees out in Burnt Ranch, your North Coast neighborhood forecast. Morning fog. There you can, of course, see the showers, a few showers Wednesday, just lingering. I don't think Wednesday or Thursday you're going to see much in the way of rain. It's Friday going into the weekend that we will be looking at more rain entering the picture. Take you up north, 59 degrees for Gas Key, Smith River, 58, 55 for Crescent City and Trinidad, a high of about 57 degrees. And your Siskiyou County neighborhood forecast, temperatures mainly in the upper 30s, low 40s. Places like McDowell, about uh, 35, Doris, about 34. And then we take you out to Tennant with a high of about 39 degrees. Did that say Modoc? No, it did say Siskiyou. All right, I was just double checking. All right, here's your Modoc County neighborhood forecast. And there you can see, it uh, looks like about 39 degrees for Alturas, 35 for Tule Lake, and 41 degrees in Aden. 5,000 foot snow levels Tuesday, around five to 6,000 feet for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And your Eastern Mountains neighborhood forecast. So we got the dry conditions today. We got a chance for showers, snow levels 5,000 feet. I think mainly dry if you're a Wednesday, Thursday for the Eastern Mountains, not to mention most of the day on Friday. Now, Friday evening, Friday night into the weekend, we've got more rain entering the picture. For the valley, of course, this is your valley neighborhood forecast brought to you by Haas Farms. So we've got the morning fog today. We've got more fog coming in Wednesday morning. Between that, of course, we've got some showers coming in on Tuesday. Dry for your Thursday. Now, I've got showers in there for Friday, but it's going to be late in the day. I'll have to kind of 
kind of mention that here. And then, of course, that chance for showers will continue here going into the weekend. I take you up north. There you can see Reading about 59 degrees for that daytime. I think some of us will see that 60 degree mark today, especially with that added sunshine should make for a, a pretty pleasant day. All right, let's take a look at your seven day outlook for Reading got 59 degrees for uh, your high today. Again, some of us could touch 60, 61, but it will be cooler going into Tuesday with that rain coming in and then temperatures back up in the upper 50s to around 60 for Thursday through this upcoming weekend.